The on button energizes the system. The heat range up and down arrows control the amount of heat the stove generates. The blower speed up and down arrows control the speed of the convection blower. The off button puts the unit in the shutdown mode. The bottom three buttons are preset at the factory and should never be adjusted unless you are directed by a factory technician. When the on button is pressed from a cold start, the control board will display SU. While in this startup mode, the unit has a preset heat range and will remain in this mode for 20 minutes. After the unit has gone through its startup mode, set your heat range and blower speed to the desired settings. Press the off button to put the unit in the shutdown mode. There will be an SD displayed on the control board to verify this. At this time the red light above the off button will illuminate. When the off button is pressed, the top auger will instantly stop feeding pellets to the bottom auger tube, but the room air blower, exhaust blower, and bottom auger will continue to operate. When the internal stove temperature drops to 95 degrees, the room air blower will stop. And when the internal temperature drops to 90 degrees, the bottom auger motor and exhaust blower will stop. The red light will then turn off and the entire stove will be shut down. The hotter the unit is operating, the longer the unit will take to complete the shutdown cycle. The control board is programmed to give three codes in case a problem occurs while the unit is in operation. The first code is E1. This code will appear in the display if you have a flue exhaust problem. There may be a flue blockage or the combustion blower is not operating properly. At this point, press the off button, inspect your flue system for possible blockage. Then, if the flue is not blocked, press the on button to attempt to restart the unit. If the E1 code appears again, press the off button and contact technical support for further assistance. The E2 code is a fail to start code. If the unit does not reach sufficient temperature within 20 minutes of pressing the on button, this code will appear and the unit will shut down. When the unit has cooled, open the door and clean all fuel from the fire pot. Close the door and press the on button to initiate a new startup cycle. If the unit fails to start after the second attempt, call technical support for further assistance. The E3 code is an over temperature limit code. This would indicate to the user that the heat range setting is higher than the blower speed setting, which allows the internal temperature to build in the unit. To correct, lower the heat range setting and raise the blower speed setting. If this goes uncorrected, the unit will go into a shutdown mode. If this problem persists, do not continue to operate the unit and call technical support for further assistance.